Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 3rd, 2022. Well, yesterday we had quite a rally. Um, Jerome Powell kind of calmed the waters of the market, suggesting an only, only a 25 basis point increase may be on the way for us here in a couple of weeks. And the market seemed to really like that and rallied substantially. Um, but we really didn't change anything. So what does that mean for today? Well, let's settle in, buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. My goodness, my goodness, we have quite a uncertain market um, with lots and lots of price volatility. Um, as you can see, we lost 600 points one day and we gain it back the next day. Um, uh, obviously, Jerome Powell kind of calmed the waters a little bit yesterday, but unfortunately, things are not really improving over there with the Ukraine situation. As a matter of fact, they're getting substantially worse with Russia uh, taking over another city and tightening its grip on the country. And as um, the market tries to grapple with that, we're seeing um, Brent crude prices continue to surge. As a matter of fact, this morning they are pricing at about $115 a barrel. They at one point overnight were up, uh, was up to $116 a barrel. And that certainly is going to have major impacts here on our economy. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. If we take a look in here, although that rally was wonderful and um, everyone loves a rally, Rally, but we really didn't solve anything. We didn't break the downtrend here in the chart and we still have this unbelievably big um, resistance level above here in the diamond. So if we can follow through today, now European markets are showing a little bit of bearishness this morning, although um, Asian markets were bullish overnight. Um, Euro European markets are showing a little bit of bearishness with the aggressiveness of what's going on over there in the Ukraine. And as you can see, um, we still have to pop through this area. So if those bulls can maintain some control or gain some control, maybe inspired by some of the earnings or economic events today, then we have that opportunity that we could maybe pop through that area up there. But let's keep in mind, even if we do that, we still have substantial areas of price resistance above and a downtrend still yet to defeat. And if we take a look at our uh, moving averages here, notice our 50 day moving average is dropping pretty darn quickly here. And probably by next week at a minimum, that 50 day moving average is likely going to cross down through the 200 day moving average, um, creating some pretty, um, well, just a huge level of price resistance here in the chart. So be really really kind of careful here with the idea that the all clear has been sounded. Um, I remember guys that when we are in a downtrend, you should probably be thinking predominantly about short trades. All four indexes are in a downtrend. Be predominantly thinking about short trades and you want to start thinking about the short trades when the market's testing resistance levels and pushing up into those resistance levels. So watch those carefully. Then let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, nice rally yesterday, pushing back up, but once again, we just kind of locked right into that resistance level again here in the chart, and I apologize, my tools decided to change on their own here. Let's give me just one second and I will fix that. And as you can see here, we still have huge levels of price resistance above. So although we have been able to hold onto this price support in the SPY, um, we're locked in this range sideways and that range continues to follow in this downtrend. So we've got a little bit of that double whammy uh, potentially happening right here with the downtrend resistance and the resistance in the chart above. So we'll have to, well, we'll need some inspiration 
aspiration here maybe to push on through that level considering the geopolitical concerns and the rising energy prices so watch that closely and here again our technicals are diminishing um, ever so slightly here on the SPY our 34 EMA has crossed down through the 200 day moving average and that 50 is diving pretty quickly toward that 200 day now SPY has probably the best potential of recovering that and preventing that 50 from coming down through of all the other indexes so we'll want to watch that close now let's take a look at the QQQ unfortunately our QQQ technicals are pretty dismal here um, in the chart if you take a look we just have a massive level a price resistance area here above us in the chart and as we move on up if we can move on up they just get they just get bigger and stronger and if you take a look at our downtrend our downtrend is still in play here on the chart so this is a rally back to resistance and it's really no different than a rally back to resistance here or here or here we should be watching for that possibility that we could fail in this area not that we will but that we should be watching for that possibility if those bulls cannot follow through or continue to push to the upside. Um, we'll need something special, I think, to move us through that level to get us going. And even if we get up through there, we just have to remember huge resistance levels above. Our technicals here in the chart are pretty ugly with that 50-day moving average now having crossed down through the 200, uh, the so-called death cross in play. But that doesn't mean we can't rally we could certainly rally back up and we could test this level up in here um, before failing so just kind of keep that in mind I'm not saying that um, all is lost here but I'm certainly saying that we're gonna have to be a little bit suspect of the price action as we press resistance let's take a look at our IWM our IWM also um, nice rally yesterday pushing back up we are still in a downtrend here in IWM we have resistance right here in the chart that will uh, likely affect us um, is with that little double whammy as you, you can see right here and then we have just that massive resistance level above and our technicals here are one of the worst of the market um, that 50-day moving average dropping down pretty closely and I think there is a chance we could end up wearing that 50-day moving average over the top like a hat and blocking us from maybe moving higher. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Now you would have thought with a 600-point rally our VIX would have performed a little bit better yesterday, but it did not. And as you can see, our VIX still holding up here above a 30 handle by the close of the day. Now certainly we have avoided pressing through this resistance area right in here and I got to tell you if we press through here we could see some substantial selling coming into the market as some of the VIX products as some of the um, volatility products start to un unwind or um, unlever and you'll want to watch that closely but be really careful here um, with us still being elevated now keep in mind if we could break back down below the 25 handle area there's a pretty substantial price resistance or price support level in that 25 area and you can see it running across the chart for a long long ways if we could break back down below that then things might calm a little bit and the bulls might have a little bit better shot of getting things going but what this tells us here with the VIX is we're going to still have to stay on our toes and be really watchful of those resistance levels within a downtrend volatility remains high which means we still have that um, high possibility of big intraday whipsaws or overnight reversals so watch carefully here I don't think we can come even close to sound they all clear here in the market and if we take a look at our t2122 our t2122 well doggone it we went from that mid-range here yesterday and surged all the way back up and now we're pressing into the bearish reversal zone again so we still have that all or nothing market where we just surge back and forth either fear or or um, you know 
greed comes running in and we just we just can't seem to um, break this spell of this really high uncertainty um, in the market so keep in mind guys as we are up here pretty stretched out in that short term if those bulls can find some inspiration today then we certainly do have a little bit more upside room before we run into a little bit of trouble here but if those bears come up with a reason to uh, fight back well, then we have opened up that really big area back down here for that downside move. So watch carefully here on that T2122. Our T2108 did show us an improvement yesterday and that was nice to see. If you take a look here in T2108, we're trying to sneak up there. We're trying to sneak through that um, downtrend here in T2108. So we've got about 37% of our stocks um, holding above their 40 day moving average. So I got to tell you, that is an improvement. I got to give that up to the bulls here in the chart. The question is, will we be able to break through? And you, if I pull this back, you can see there is just significant resistance in this chart. Will we be able to push on through that? I think that's still the question. And then you will, will want to keep in mind that the bigger downtrend is still in play here in that chart. And then if we take a look at our T2107, by golly, that T2107 also showed us a pretty nice, whoops, T2107 showed us a pretty nice um, improvement yesterday, 33% of our stocks uh, moving up, but once again, um, we're not out of the woods here. Um, in, in any stretch of the imagination. So we still have a lot of work here before we start seeing uh, those stocks above the 200 day really improving here in the market. So just watch that closely. T2101, I, I mentioned uh, just the other day that uh, when T2101 reaches down here toward this bottom area, we expect a big move in some way, shape, or form. And we kind of got that yesterday, didn't we? 600 points up. But um, we didn't really, um, <laughs> it's interesting that um, we pushed down really hard on a 600 point down day, but we didn't push up that hard on a 600 point up day. So um, kind of an interesting situation here. I'm not exactly sure what that means. but. What I do believe is we're really going to have to stay on our toes. We need to really be focused in on that price action because whipsaws and those overnight reversals are still very possible with all the geopolitical tensions um, going on in the world. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that could move us around um, this morning. Notice that we have jobless claims now. Um, consensus estimates are looking for 225,000 on those jobless claims. We'll want to keep a close eye on that this morning. If it comes in better than expected, that could be give that inspiration to the bulls. If it comes in worse than expected, that could um, give some inspiration to those bears. Keep in mind then we're going to move into productivity and cost. This might be a real interesting number today. Keep a close eye on that. Um, notice in here we're going to have uh, um, some more uh, Jerome Powell talk in Congress today. We've got factory orders, ISM, natural gas, and then later on in the day, we're going to have that Fed balance sheet and a few Fed speakers. Um, but, you know, just um, unlikely we have too much movement around those. But as you plan forward into Friday, keep in mind, guys, before the market open, this will, this will happen to us. It, nothing we can be really be able to do about it. We're going to get that employment situation number on Friday. So keep that in mind. Happens before the bell and that can create some substantial price movements. Um, how about that earnings calendar today? Well, that earnings calendar, we've got just short of 200 companies on the earnings calendar but we're really starting to wind down on those notables. Um, uh, a lot of small cap and things like that popping off here um, on the earnings calendar. But we do have a couple today that could be uh, marginally market moving. Let's take a look at um, AVGO. Um, AVGO Broadcom, obviously, a uh, they are linked right at the hip with um, Apple here. So keep a close eye on that. AVGO, whether or not it can um, report well and push on through, we'll wanna keep an eye on that. And we're also going to hear from Costco. Costco is also one of those. This is just a you know one of those really big, well-known companies that 
uh, can move the market just a little bit. We'll want to watch that closely and see if those retail sales continue to help out Costco or if there is some problems here with the impacts of inflation. So watch that carefully. We'll also get a report from uh, Best Buy. It looks like Best Buy is getting a pretty bullish reaction here this morning um, on its report. But not really fixing anything just yet. We still have quite a little bit of um, resistance here in this chart, but it is nice to see a little bit of pop up and then just notice the massive resistance that we have across that chart, chart yet to deal with. So keep that in mind. A few others, we have uh, big lots that we'll be reporting today. Looks like it's getting a little bit of negative reaction. Um, we've got BJ's Wholesale. That's getting a substantial uh, negative reaction. Um, EGLE, Shipping and Ports, we'll be watching that one. That'll report today. We've also got uh, the Gap Stores that we'll be reporting today. Kroger might be an interesting one to watch. It's been rallying toward its earnings report. Um, uh, and certainly we know that food prices are going higher and higher and higher. Whether that has a positive or negative impact on Kroger, we'll have to wait and see. So watch that closely. And we will also hear from TD today. Um, so we're going to catch a little bit of banking action in here. So with that, guys, um, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click that link um, uh, below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at a few um, stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please make sure and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful in your planning for the day and hopefully you see a major difference here over what you see in the normal feed out there on social media where I'm not involved in the prediction I'm not involved in suggesting this thing is gonna go to the moon and this thing's gonna fall off a cliff and all of that kind of stuff I just simply want to base my work on what the price action tells me in the chart. And that has been very, very effective for myself and members of Right Way Options because we have had a really good year so far in this market. So having said that, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please share these out there with your uh, friends on other social media feeds, um, I would truly appreciate that. And also, if you would like to support the channel or this kind of content, you there's a link below the uh, title of the video that'll take you to the Buy Me a Coffee um, location where you could potentially support the channel if you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks or right way options so thank you to everyone who has done that and boy this has been a crazy week for me but there will be i promise you um i will be doing a live event here before too long um on youtube and um, i may start doing more of those live events just because of that support from folks um in buy me a coffee let's take a look guys at some charts that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you should do your own due diligence on these charts and make sure that you are paying very very close attention to the risks of each and every trade you never ever want to follow someone else's trade idea make sure it is following your rules and your guidelines i've been mentioning this pin national here for a while and i still like this chart i like the way that we have had that volatility that we um, saw in the market has kind of spilled off now into a nice resting consolidation in here keep an eye on that this is a rounded bottom breakout pattern and honestly one of my favorite patterns when a stock comes up out of a bottom so keep an eye on that see if this can pop through um, and get moving I think what I would probably do at this point is place a price alert right through here and then just wait for it wait and see if it can follow on through and pop to the upside there may be um, some nice nice upside in that chart coming soon um, I think it would be a good idea to also keep an eye on BBBY now BBBY is another one of those RBB patterns um, 
but we haven't had that little resting pullback yet after we um, had this wild volatility in this move, but it's hanging in there nicely. So keep an eye on that. Here's another one that I think it might be a good idea to wait for a little bit of rest or consolidation in here. Make sure it can prove it can hold this big rally and then look for that next opportunity in the trade, BBBY coming around looking pretty good. I think we have to continue to, to keep an eye on these um, energy stocks, guys. Energy just, oh my goodness, um, everywhere you look, um, um, energy prices are surging. So you can probably go to just about any oil sector company and look for good quality trades. And if you take XLE, one of the reasons I really love TC2000 is I can pull up an ETF like this, click one link and have a list of everything um, that makes up that. And you can see if we just run down through here, EOG, OXY, MRO, uh, Slumberger, you just move down through this list and we have strong patterns and strong stocks um, all through that. And I suspect that's going to continue as long as this incursion into um, Ukraine continues and that uncertainty out there grows. So watch those closely. You might also want to take a look at, at some potential failure patterns. We had a nice rally back uh, uh, back up yesterday in those financials, but notice those financials will be pushing right into some substantial price resistance in the chart. And our financials here are well below their 50 day moving average. Let's take a look at a couple of stocks in particular. Take a look at JP Morgan. Oh my goodness. Now, why would these be having so much trouble? Well, one of the reasons they're having so much trouble is there's massive currency fluctuations going on around the world. Um, I don't know if you saw the new news report today, but um, over in Turkey, they now have a 54% inflationary rate. So we're seeing quite a few fluctuations in currency. And then of course, the major um, sanctions going against China are affecting banks substantially. Um, so watch that closely. I think as we rally back into resistance levels in some of these charts, we want to watch carefully for those opportunities to maybe take a short in that trade to move down. Now, this is a substantial problem here for JP Morgan. It does have a little bit of price support right in here, but let's start watching some of those. There could be some nice shorting patterns in some of those financials. You might also want to be taking a look at some of the um, what we call defensive sector stocks. Defensive sector are those old boring companies typically that um, pay a nice dividend yield. And you can see Coca-Cola hanging in here pretty nicely. Now, this is a pretty substantial breakout here on Coca-Cola and it's resting up in this area. We've certainly had our volatility in this chart, but it's holding in here. So keep an eye on that, see if that can push on through. And there's other stocks out there in that sector, you know, that are just the old boring companies like Hershey. Look at Hershey moving up here nicely, um, holding into its trend, just uh, moving on up. So watch some of those defensive sector areas in the market. They seem to be holding up pretty darn well. And then um, you've got to also, you know, um, uh, these stocks um, in the aerospace defense um, area, obviously very, very strong as countries around the world are increasing their spend on defense um, with the geopolitical concerns going on out there. LMT, really, really strong. Wait for the next entry into it. General Dynamics, extremely strong. Um, watch that one closely for a next potential entry. Um, NOC, um, Northrop. Um, um, also unbelievably strong. Look for those rest or pullback areas in those charts for those opportunities. Last but not least, I'm going to mention BMY here. Now, BMY has been moving up in a nice little upside trend. Notice we've kind of rested a few days here. Look for that next opportunity for BMY to maybe perk on higher. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Please, folks, keep in mind all all of those folks suffering over there in the Ukraine and hopefully hopefully uh, cooler heads will eventually prevail and um, 
Well, it, it's just an awful, awful situation for those folks. And so um, heart goes out to the proud people of Ukraine and uh, the, the challenges that they face. So keep them in mind, and I will see you guys all bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.